from last class period, grouping was not everybody's favorite. Some of the quizzes I looked at, grouping was not people's favorites. So again, guys, we have four terms. Four terms, automatically you're just going to want to look to grouping. That's like the first thing that you check in your brain. Is it, is it factoring, is it factorable by grouping? And if not, we'll, we'll learn other methods. But four terms, group the first two, group the last two. So now, on each term, you're going to want to factor out what they have in common. We could have factored out an x first, OK? And I didn't really, I just kind of started getting to the group. You could have factored out an x first, right, out of everything, and then redid the factoring by grouping. But if you didn't, it's not the end of the world. It's going to come back anyways for us. So here I can factor out an x cubed. Um, when I factor out an x cubed, I'm left with an x plus 1. Over here, you can see I have a 3 and an x that are the same. So I add, factor out a 3x. And therefore, I'm left with a x plus 1. Again, factoring by grouping does not happen unless these two terms are exactly the same. So if you get to this point and you don't get the exact same, then it's either not factorable by grouping or you did something wrong. So just go back and check your work real quick first, and then go back to other methods, which we'll learn later. So now I can factor out the x plus 1, and then I'm left with a x cubed plus 3x. But again, guys, to find the zeros, what I want to do in this case, again, I can fact, you know, you can set each one of these, I guess, equal to 0. You can factor out an x again. And then set them equal to 0 one more time. And therefore, it looks like we have, um, when I solve this, I subtract the 3 on both sides. I get x squared equals negative 3. Square root, square root, x equals plus or minus i, square root of 3. So then let's count up our zeros here real quick. x equals negative 1. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Power 4. OK, it's good. No repeated zeros. So that's looking good, right? Um, so my uh, zeros are negative 1, 0, and plus or minus i, square root of 3. And if I wanted to write this as a linear factorization, which I said to do, you'd write x, let's do x, let's write x first. That's the easiest one to do. And then I could write x plus i squared of 3 and x minus i squared of 3. And therefore, really, guys, you're just writing your zeros when you're writing the linear factorization. The easiest thing, I think, to do is find the zeros and then just go back